All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is October 6th. And on the agenda, I have are probably going to be our final uh, GSOC 2022 update, October Fest update, DevOps World update, and Jenkins newsletter. Anything else that you would like to add to this agenda? Nothing that I, I know of, Alyssa, if, if something comes Fosdem. up as I'm doing research. Oh, Fosdem. Yes, thank you, John oh, Mark. Right. Once that I have a, a, an event happening near near my my door, hmm. next door, I would say. All right. So GSOC update, we did our final presentation or our GSOC contributors did their final presentation yesterday. I thought it went very, very well. Um, they did a great job presenting as usual. Uh, so the follow up on that is that we would um, do each of them would do a blog post about their final results and post it on Jenkins.io. Uh, Yiming has completed his and it's posted. It has there. already been it has already been published. Uh, most mm -hmm. of the others I need to check are standby. Yeah. So they're ready and uh, we're going to publish them at this at the same time. Yeah. So so John Mark, it's good that Kevin and I are present because we've got the permission to do the merge of those things. Um, is there any reason that they any of them should be delayed? I haven't looked at them no. since my last uh, review. You're ready to have them published now. You and Alyssa are okay if they're published immediately. I, I I didn't review them myself, so uh, there's something I should do. I ran late uh, for that, so I'm a little bit too tired to do it correctly. But um, we we just need to review that it's correct. I think the mentors reviewed it, uh, and and they're ready to roll. Okay, so so Alyssa, if you're okay with it, I'm going to paste the links to the existing blog post pull requests into the document so that Kevin and I know what to review. Okay. Uh, right now, several of them several of them are marked as draft, and draft would usually mean we don't review them. But I'm going yeah. to assume that that's inexperience on the part of the contributors. They meant it's okay because, if people review this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I asked them to leave them in draft so that we would uh, publish them all together uh, with a final presentation. Uh, okay, so, so then that we... we can also Twitter it and uh, right. do that together. Yeah, so they're supposed to link in their um, presentations from yesterday. So if you can, when you review them, um, well, I'll, I'll take a look at them as well, just to make sure that they include their slides in it too. And then we will also reference the recording that I have posted here from yesterday too. Alisa, did you already receive their presentation? No, I have not, but I will reach out to them and get it from them today yeah. or before the end of the week, I hope, but I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, so so Kevin or I, and I guess given that I'm out on vacation next week, Kevin will be the one who will update the publication dates of those blog posts so that they're correct for, for when we actually choose to publish them. And he'll do the final final merge. So it feels like we've got, we want to get each of the contributors to switch it out of draft. We want to have each of the contributors include a link to their present to their subsection of the presentation, and mm -hmm. probably they should embed the video there so that it's easy for people to just see the video. Um, and then once all that's done, so it's likely earliest tomorrow, or maybe more more likely even next early next week that they get published. John Mark, is that yeah. okay for you? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay. Got a little bit late following this up. Well, and, and this is exactly what I plan to do. We did the yeah. important thing. That presentation it was a, a, a good thing. That that's recorded and now available. Yeah. 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 And then we can do the the PR. The next step 
uh, for, for that because I'm, I'm been writing notes for that is that uh, we're going to open up uh, Word, um, um, a Google Doc uh, document to collect uh, lessons learned and or comments or improvement ideas mm -hmm. for um, the 20, 2023 edition. And then we're 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 going to start uh, preparing the next edition. Okay, I'll do that. I gave myself that action item, John Mark. Yeah. Um, uh, and then Michelle from CDF reached out to me yesterday. We did receive the GSOC stipend for 2022. It's currently within uh, the Linux Foundation account. So Mark gave me the link to where they need to apply that fund to. So um, once that is in, Michelle will, will confirm. But that's in progress. So good thing we know where our, <laughs> the money for last year is. Okay, John Mark, October Fest. Well, so Alyssa, just for clarity, so that's the money from this year, or is that the money from because the money from last year, as far as I know, was already applied. What for 2022? That's so so that's for me is a major milestone. So what you just said is that the money from GSOC that we spent 12 plus months getting it from last year, you have successfully gotten it oh. in in a matter of a few weeks. No, so no. big victory. Well, I, it's, I, let me clarify with Michelle, but I believe it's just a 2022 um, program. Oh, see, it's and that's years. not just, right? So, so we spent 12 months getting the 2021 money into the account. And it sounds like you have successfully done what we what previously took us 12 months to figure out how to do it it's now happened in a matter of a week or two thank you thank you thank you i was assuming it was going to be well a big painful exercise to get that gsoc money transferred to the cloud bees not cloud bees to the jenkins account yeah. and so that good good for you thanks and please thank michelle profusely for yeah. for that yeah i will do that yeah. okay john mark Okay, Hacktoberfest. So we started uh, uh, during the weekend, but officially last uh, Monday. Uh, there was on Tuesday the uh, main uh, kickoff uh, meeting, and we held our uh, live stream kickoff meeting on Tuesday afternoon here in Europe, so morning uh, in the US. So I think it went uh, well, although I'm I'm still recovering from the travel, agitated travel from the US. So, uh, but this worked well. And so we'll hold um, a weekly live stream about uh, a Hacktoberfest situation where we'll uh, on one side give uh, technical advice, answer to questions, and give an update of where we're standing uh, uh, with the, the participation count. Now we have already some figures. We're checking the figures because the reality of the data set and the interpretation of the rules in the query, uh, there's always a delta that <laughs> We try to get as small as possible, but the delta is substantial in this case. So we're, we have, so uh, probably underestimated, uh, we have uh, now uh, about 10 distinct, uh, 10 to, to let's say, um, uh, how do you say that? Uh, well, uh, let's say a dozen of uh, distinct uh, contributors and uh, about uh, two dozen uh, contributions. So this, just to give a rough idea, we're checking the results and we will publish uh, the results regularly once we're sure that the queries represent the reality. So that's two uh, dozen new contributors, is that right? No, two dozen uh, contribution. Ah. 
factors and contributions. And they're spread uh, all over uh, the earth. So uh, all major contribution. We have no contribution from Antarctica, so we will not will not be able to say that we have all continents participating. Just just kidding on, on that one. My excessive precisionometer just went off scale. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what I can share currently about uh, Hacktoberfest. Cool. And I did reach out to Darren um, to let him know that I'd be happy to help out with tweets and LinkedIn posts. So um, he'll keep me posted yeah. whenever he needs it. Yeah, uh, that, that's thank you for your, your very, very precious help uh, for, for that. So it is. You bet. Very much appreciate it. It's important to let people yeah. know. Yep. Happy to do it. Anything else, John Mark? Uh, no, I will we'll see how it folds out. I have some ideas to uh, to even further promote uh, Hacktoberfest and the people participating to it. But uh, let me first try it out and see how it works out. Stay tuned. Okay. okay. Uh, so DevOps World in Orlando, Florida, as we all know, that event was canceled due to Hurricane Ian. Um, they are talking about having a virtual event in place. Now that is currently being under discussion within CloudBees. There aren't any information that is shareable at the moment. Um, no date, uh, nothing yet. So just keep that in the back of our minds, I guess. Um, and then I wanted to make sure that we give out a special shout out to our European colleagues who are stuck. I felt horrible um, at or at the hotel, and you couldn't go out. <laughs> yeah. You got you got room that leaked. Uh, you <laughs> yeah. got the wind that's howling. It, I'm sure it was quite a scary experience, but um, yeah. yeah, glad you guys made it home safely though. And we have stories to tell. So there's yes. this, let's say it is the most, and we're still able to tell them, which is the most important thing. Yeah. No, no, we're. Yeah, that would so, be quite and, lovely. Uh, thank you also to uh, Uli Hafner, who was mm. uh, participating also and was so we were able to have some very good discussions there while being stranded uh, yeah. in that hotel. Yeah. Uli is, uh, is a lot bigger in person than I had imagined. I don't know if Mark, <laughs> if you've met him in person. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's, a, yeah, he's tall. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Jenkins newsletter, I started the template for it, the document for it. And uh, so right now it's just a matter of collecting the data. And with COVID, uh, with, with the, what happened last week, uh, there's people that's coming back sick and I just didn't want to push for updates. So we'll probably get this delayed a little bit, but I'm still monitoring it and I'll work on it. So are you, if in terms of that newsletter, do you want it, is it okay if I extract things from the presentation I prep for the contributor summit to embed in that? Or would you, what would you like differently, Alyssa? Um, would, would that be I, okay? I think that's perfectly fine. So this is basically September, uh, it's a September newsletter. So content for September that we're posting in October. Okay. So, so whatever you think I is may, relevant. I may grab some slides or some pictures from the, from the contributor summit deck, uh, just yeah. because we didn't use the deck, the mm -hmm. pictures may help. Yeah, thanks. Definitely. Okay, so FOSTEM 2023, um, that is slated for February 4th and February. 5th. Correct, mm -hmm. yes. So it will be a, a, a real life event. So a, a physical event here in Brussels. Um, so we're on the starting blocks and listening to what's uh, 
what's happening and to see how we're going to get organized. Uh, we're looking at having a booth mm -hmm. uh, and uh, maybe participate to uh, the CI room or, or we're still working, but at least we have already a foot in the door yeah. and plan to participate. Mark, is there something else we can say about FOSDEM? No, I think that's the right approach. We've got interest from Olivia Vernon. Um, uh, did I pronounce it correctly, John Mark? Correct. I'm getting, yeah, you're I'm getting closer. After, Good. Yeah, okay, closer. After and years closer. of years of butchering it, I'm getting closer. <laughs> so Olivier has led the the efforts to get the Jenkins table and the the uh, CI/CD dev room, and so we want to be involved in both those. Yeah. Okay. So last item was one I added, Alyssa. Mm -hmm. Contributor so, Summit Remix. Right. So what we had planned to do the Contributor Summit at DevOps World face-to-face. -face. With DevOps World not being face-to-face, -face, I think an all-day Contributor Summit is remote is infeasible. The past times when we've attempted to do an eight-hour or a six-hour block of, of getting people together for a meeting six hours virtually, it just hasn't been successful. Mm -hmm. And so my idea is I'm preparing some, a, a concept of a series of three two-hour sessions that would cover many of the most crucial topics from the Contributor Summit and do those in a, an online webinar format where we would allow uh, anyone to participate but we would promote to speaker only those people that we carefully select uh, as, as a loudspeaker. So it wouldn't be a Zoom meeting like this session. It would truly be a Zoom webinar. Uh, wow. Even if the attendance is small, I'd rather do it that way for the safety of not having spammers that drop in and say or do rude things during a, during a Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe we can then choose uh, times where we lean uh, uh, towards different time zones. I know it's mission impossible, uh, well, but uh, we can survey the participants. Choice. And because in this case, we, we can identify readily who are the participants uh, yeah. that would allow us to say, OK, if we need to do it. Very, or very early in the U.S. morning or very, very midday in the European day or late, whatever. Those are things we can negotiate. For me, the crucial topics and, and in terms of timing, I think this will need to be November-ish just because we need time to prepare it, time to discuss it. Yeah. And I'm going to be unavailable for a big chunk of October while I take some vacation. That makes sense. We need time to promote it as well, Mark. Right, exactly. So, so my thought was we we frame it for an, a November time frame, and I'll start the conversations around this Google Doc that I've started with various people. We'll we'll then get ideas about hey, what if it were this? What if it were this? Etc. My current thinking is an initial session of two hours with board updates, SIG updates, and the user experience thing. So roughly half of that first two hours is dedicated user experience because that's a hot topic. Mm -hmm. And then a second two-hour segment with probably security and security-related topics like content security policy, um, code signing from the Continuous Delivery Foundation, et cetera. And then as a third segment, um, topics around platform and those kinds of themes so that we've got a, a forum for our AWS uh, voices to share their Mac OS work and for others to do. So I'll, I'll put this into a Google Doc. It's there and we'll start the con con discussions in that Google Doc. Okay, that sounds great. Let me know if I can help with anything. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Kevin, Thank for joining us. Bye-bye. Of course. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everyone.